They have tape measures on that measure zero in the middle and 12 inches out on the ends. These will go against the steer tires and be used as references to measure to the front of the truck to determine where the drive axles are going. The actual measurements are done with a laser system. There's two bars, one for either side of the truck. Each bar has flashlight batteries, double A's, up in the top. One laser will project out of this small hole at the front, and one laser will project out of this target to measure toe. The sideways targets complete the framing square that allows you to measure the geometry of toe in any axle. The system also includes an operations manual, a manual on basics on alignment and tire work problems, a digital level for measuring caster and camber, and a sample of alignment shims. The next step is to actually put it on a truck. The first step is to drive the vehicle in straight and roll it to a stop so that you have the as-driven position on all the tires. This is important in order to make sure that your measurements match the tire work conditions in the vehicle. The next step is to set up your targets on the front of each tire so that you have a reference to aim your drive axle lasers at. Each, each target goes down with a zero measurement against the tire at the bottom center of the tire. Now we move to the back of the vehicle and put the lasers on the tires on each side of the axle. We'll start on the rear axle and then move forward on the truck. So on the left side of the truck you hang the laser bar using the straps place it directly against the side of the tire and aim the laser forward until it hits the target and you get a measurement. Now this measurement may be three or four inches, doesn't matter what the number is. When we move to the other side of the vehicle, we put the other laser on the opposite side of the same axle, making sure that we're flat against the tire, using the straps to hold the bar against the tire by pulling the straps down to the 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock position. The bar should be about even with the bottom of the rim and the vertical part about even with the front of the rim. Then once again you tilt the laser until it aims at the target. Now by comparing the numbers on one side with the numbers that were obtained on the other side of the vehicle, you can determine which way the axle is aimed. This illustration graphically demonstrates this. If the two numbers are the same, 4 and 4 or 3 and 3, the axle is aimed dead straight ahead. If on the other hand one side has a larger number than the other, it's indicating the axle is aimed crooked. When you've completed measuring the one axle, you simply move the lasers forward to the next axle, if there is one, repeating the process we just did on the rear. Lasers flat against the tires, lasers shooting forward and hitting the target at the front of the truck. One side measurement is obtained. We move to the other side of the vehicle and repeat the process by moving the laser forward. This becomes a very simple process, no great magic involved, no great complications and calculations involved. If the numbers match, the axles aim straight. If the numbers don't, the axles aim crooked. And once again, the illustration demonstrates this process. Numbers the same or numbers crooked. Now we move to the steer axle. At this point we're going to use the laser that shoots out of the side of the laser bar out of the center of the target that's attached to the bar. Now the bar itself and the laser that's shooting out of it are a framing square. The bar on the other side of the truck and its laser are a framing square. Now if these two lasers hit center to center there's no toe in the axle. But if the lasers are off one side will be on zero and the other side will give us the toe reading or the camber reading. The first illustration showed camber, the second illustration shows toe. 